Yeah. You guys, this wig is so soft. <laughs> I feel like I've said it a million times, but each time I touch it, I'm like, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> like I should sleep on my wig. I can see how those ends are. Oh, what's up, beautiful people? How you doing? Today I have a kinky straight wig for you guys, and it is from Unice Hair. I'm so excited because if you know me, you will know that I love natural hair textures just because they look good, okay? Anyhow, anyhow, natural hair textures always look good and they're always easy to work with. So I'm excited to be trying this one from Unice Hair. And inside the box, you have the wig. Then you also have this HD wig cap. You actually have two or even three. Um, this one comes with accessories. That's the edge band, some nails and the HD wig cap. Then you have this robe. I love these robes, you guys. I have a lot of them. Very nice, silky robes. And an extra um, HD wig cap. Now, this is the wig. Look at the texture. It is kinky straight. Kinky straight texture is more coarse than yaki straight. This is it. Very soft, very lovely. Just look at this. Ah, I can't wait to wear this. And this is a Bye Bye Knot lace wig um let me show you guys the lace yeah so this is the lace it is a seven by five and it has been cut and styled for you and this is the wig cap it comes with extra elastic band so you can use extra elastic band on it and this comes to secure it and yeah that's the pattern space so it's a seven by five you can pat it here you can pat it in the center um, I'll figure out which one I prefer when I wear it. I'm going to leave a link to this wig in the description box You guys just look at it. This is 24 inches by the way So it's quite long and full and beautiful. This is going to be a quick install So let me just go ahead now and color the lace a little bit You can just go ahead and use your contour color or even your foundation color It just depends on how your skin tone is me personally. I prefer using my contour color on the lace it blends much better okay so okay so this is the wig just straight out of the box and um, with a little bit of blending on the lace um i'll still need to blend this lace a little bit but just look at the texture of this hair you guys just look at how soft and beautiful this texture is it just looks like natural hair Oh my goodness, it just looks like natural hair. Like I have really long natural hair. You know those girls on Instagram that either have very long natural hair or very long relaxed hair and you know, they are just you know showing it off. This is what it looks like exactly, you guys. It is such a soft texture. I like it. I can't emphasize how soft this hair is. This is like cloud. It feels like cloud. So this is it just out of the box. Nothing done to the hair itself. And it looks good. Um, so I'm going to work on the edges just a little bit. I'm not going to do too much because, you know, we're trying to make it look like it's our hair. I'm going to be wearing this glueless. So I'm just going to try and blend this very well so that I can even make it look like it is a full frontal or like it is my natural hair i use my blow drying brush and straighten it so that it can be more straight but to be honest i like this look because i already have yaki straight so i want something that is not too sleek so i like this look but yeah i'll just uh, work on it a little bit okay by the way this cap was cut around here as well it's not so obvious but i can feel it that it goes in a bit around here because it's very comfortable on my head so in this part i'm using like a, a a darker like my contour shade basically just like a few shades darker than my actual skin tone that's why i'm using my contour shade can you guys see how it is disappearing already <laughs> can you guys see that <laughs> this was the brush i used to do my contour like when i did my foundation so i'm just going to blend it blend the edges so I like the pattern. I'm kind of okay with the pattern. Just opening it up a little bit. I'm not even using hot comb yet. I'm not even sure I'm going to use hot comb. In case I didn't say it before, you guys, this wig is so soft, okay? In case I've not said it like 100 times, this wig is so soft. What? So for the edges now, again, I'm not trying to do baby hairs and stuff, but I want to just, you know, rough it up a bit. Just rough it up a bit. 
so that it can look natural okay i already like how it is plucked and shaped you guys can see that it looks like it's my hair but i'm just going to rough it up a bit to try and hide that lace some more even though the lace is not obvious yeah it's not really obvious but it just helps to hide hide the lace some more when you rough up the edges a bit especially when it comes to this side yeah like this side when you rough it up a bit it tends to look like you know like it's your hair so that's what i'm just going to use a little bit of mousse for So that's pretty much it for those edges like i said i'm not trying to do too much and it doesn't even have a very strong smell there's some wigs that when you bring out of the pack it has a very strong smell this one doesn't have that smell it just smells clean finish like it just smells like wig <laughs> it just has a clean smell so i'm going to be using this blow drying brush like i said i'm not trying to get it too straight i just need to straighten it a little bit but not too straight because i actually like the volume and i like the look i don't need to turn to something else so that's why i'm using a blow drying brush instead of a straightener but you can actually straighten it if you want it to have that straight slick look but i prefer big hair okay <laughs> Okay, so I'm done straightening the wig. This is what it looks like. It's still a bit big because I didn't use like an actual straightener. But like I said, I already have slick hair. I need something different, okay? I need something different. And I love the look that this wig is giving me. Um, so let me just go ahead and I remove the edge band. And see what the edges are looking like. Fingers crossed they are giving what they are supposed to give, okay? Ooh yes they are okay yes they are giving <laughs> what i want them to give okay so i'm pretty much happy with the way the wig looks let me show you guys the back of the wig like i told you guys i'm wearing this glue less i didn't put any glue i just use mousse to you know finesse the edges if you want to curl this hair the best way to help it keep curls is for you to coil it and set it okay you can use a coiling iron but after you're done using that coiling iron you have to put it into rollers and you know spray it down and stuff like that um so i'm not trying to put coils on it however i just want to you know bring the ends together a bit um i'll show you guys what i mean I can see how those ends are. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Are you seeing that? Yeah. So that's just that's exactly the look I'm going for. guys that is for this wig i absolutely love how it looks i'm going to leave the link to this wig in the description box this is from unice hair and it's a seven by five glueless wig okay it was a glueless install pre-cut pre-styled pre-bleached pre everything bye bye not everything you want in a wig it has it and you can also part it on any side like you can make it side parts or you know center parts like i did and it just looks good minimal effort minimal styling it just looks fabulous i like it anyway guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>